Hi, this is Chad with Novison, and today we're going to go over what a digital directory is, how it works, and steps you need to take to get a digital directory system up and running. In this first slide here, we have the hardware components that you need for a digital directory system. Uh, the first thing here is a TV, and the second thing here is a media player. Um, from a TV standpoint, you can really use any size TV, any brand, it, it, it really doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a smart TV or not. Uh, from a media player standpoint, a media player is a small form box that connects to the TV through HDMI. And basically what a media player does is it checks for the digital directory updates from the cloud. Every minute it will download them if there's anything and then play them onto the screen. If a uh, internet connection is dropped, the content will keep on playing uh, because it caches locally onto the media player. Um, this saves from having any blue screens, black screens, or errors um, on, the, on the digital directory system itself. Aside from the hardware, you will need to use some type of cloud-based digital science software to put together the directory content, update it, and manage it remotely. And that's where NoviSign comes in play. As far as NoviSign, um, we are a cloud-based interface for creating content for the screen. Um, so in a digital directory standpoint, you will be able to access the interface from any computer, from a Chrome browser, doesn't matter if it is a Mac or PC. You can add your tenants, update listings, add videos, images, slideshows, scrolling tickers, what have you. Um, to get started, you're here on novisign.com, and we've got a login button. Basically, this takes you to a interface that lets you put together the content. Okay, uh, we have it broken down into three parts, creatives, playlists, and screens. The creatives is gonna be where you put the digital directory information together. The playlist is where you can schedule it out. So let's say, for example, uh, you have your regular directory listings showing on the screen. Uh, then you wanna pre-schedule it to have, say, a welcome message or something like that. You put that all together in playlists. Then the third here is screens, and that's basically step three. So once you've got your, your directory playlist ready, you send it to a screen. As far as how you put it together, we have this blue button here that says create from template. And this brings us to our library of uh, customizable, professionally designed templates. So there are over 200 of them available. And on the top here, we can switch it to portrait. So if you're looking to display your content in portrait on a TV, no problem. You just simply switch the orientation. Uh, for this example here, I'm gonna scroll down to a couple of different examples and uh, kind of go over some functions. Um, in this first layout here, um, this has lots of tenants, so it's ideal for a building that's got you know a lot of different um, uh, tenant listings. As far as how to make changes to it, it's very, very, very straightforward. So in the middle here, we've got the canvas. On the left are the widgets, and on the right are the properties. So if I wanted to, say, change something, I simply double-click it, and you can type in your information. So Dr. Smith... If I want to make this text bigger, simply highlight it, and I can make it bigger, smaller. I can change the font size, everything. Make it bold, orientation, everything. If you wanted to, say, get rid of something, so maybe this um, uh, building name here on the left, want to remove, simply click and delete. And it's drag and drop as well. So the logo here, if I want to move it, simply click and drag. Uh, on the left for the widgets, Widgets are items or components, right, that you can add. So let's say I want to add weather. Simply click and drag it on the right of the properties so I can type in my location. And there it is. And then I can change it so the font is white. I can make the font smaller as well. And there it is. Now if I don't want anything here, I can delete everything and build it up from scratch. Uh, another example of a directory that we have from the templates that are included, let's go through right now. If I scroll down, here we go. So here's another example. Um, this one here is a nice, simple layout. So if I wanted to move it over, simply click and drag. Same thing with the floor, suite number. So it's very, very, very simple. And if I wanted to change it to white so I can see, simply click highlight. And then if I want to change it to location name, simply enter in the information. And it's drag and drop, ready to go, you're done. Very, 
very, very, very easy. As far as other things that you can add, we've got your text, images, uh, video, slideshow, scrolling tickers, RSS feeds, media RSS feeds. You can add YouTube to the directory. You can add Ustream, weather, clock, the countdown, shapes, the web page, web images, web videos, Twitter, Instagram, virtual queue, Yammer, M3U8, HTML, stop and go. You can add tables, charts, calendar events, and also a section that would display ads. Again, drag and drop, so I'm going to move the floor listing over, so I click and drag, move it up. Very, very simple. Um, let's try adding something here, so let's clear out some space, delete, there we go. If I want to say on YouTube, simply click and drag, adjust the size, then on the right, the properties, so you can copy and paste the YouTube video and it'll populate here. Then if I hit preview, it will generate... The name of this trip is basically to travel from Edinburgh to Sky. Been back in very, very simple. This image here, if I want to get rid of, simply click and delete. I can change it as well by hitting the background. You can search for an image as well. So let's say you want to find a city backdrop. There we go. Changed it within seconds. Um, you can also upload your own files by simply dragging and dropping the image widget over and hitting the upload button, and you can pull whatever content you have from your computer. As far as file formats, MP4s, PNGs, JPEGs, PowerPoint slides, PDFs, all of the standard files we support. So for this one, I'll just grab this picture here, hit upload, and then you can simply resize it and adjust it. Um, you can also control the backdrops, so if you want that to be on the back, the top here we've got send the back. There you go. So overall, the system itself with Binobi Sign for putting together your directory is very straightforward and easy. Um, we do have the full library of, of directory templates that are included, and it's all freeform design, so you can find something, tweak it, change it, move it around, and really, really customize it so that it has an exact you know look and feel of um, you know what you're trying to accomplish. Um, the system itself, you can sign up for a free 30-day trial. Simply go to novisign.com, hit the Start Now button, and uh, sign up, free 30-day. Again, you can use any TV with NoviSign. You would need a media player. Um, as far as media players, Android, Windows, or Chrome, you can get them for as low as $35 and simply connect it to the TV via HDMI. Sign up for the free 30-day trial by going to novisign.com, hitting the Start Now. If you have any specific questions, email us, info at nobisign.com, and we can walk you through the system, answer your questions, and uh, make sure you're taken care of. Thank you, and we hope to hear from you soon. Bye.